All right, Woody, it is Mail Monday, and you know Welcome what- Welcome to Mail Monday. Today I grew up and me wants to show you some fan mail that we've got. You can talk? Reach for the sky. You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond. I'm Mr. Potato Head. What's it to you? Let's see what we got in the mail today. Today I grew up. I hope you like this 3D printed design of Jesse. Belt buckle. I drew. I might 3D print it soon. Signed, Hunter. Thank you, Hunter. I really like what you drew here. Hopefully the belt buckle that you 3D print looks like that because it looks pretty great. Thank you for sending this letter in. I always wanted my own belt buckle. You should make me one too, Hunter. Next letter we got says, Dear Today I Grew Up, I love your videos. I collect Toy Story toys too and Mr. Potato Head to give G.I. Joes to. From Eli, Today I Grew Up. Look on the back. Wow, this is awesome. You drew the Toy Story logo and we have Mr. Potato Head, Woody, and Buzz Lightyear. I can tell because you did a great job drawing these characters. Really cool. I kind of like that you went with the all green vibe here. Looks really great. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head's probably my favorite here that you drew. Looks really, really fun. Thanks for sending this in. Hey Eli, not bad. I like the way you drew me in your drawing. Next time, draw me again so I could see it because I really love the way you draw me. Next letter says, Dear Today I Grew Up, I have five questions for you. Do you wish Disney released the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command movie and TV show on Disney Plus? Yes, I do. I hope they do in the future. It's something that I feel Disney should bring back just for all us fans who are, you know, uh, growing up on this childhood nostalgia. would really love to see it again. Would it be cool if Pixar made a Woody's Roundup show for Disney Plus? Yes, that's my dream. Hopefully they make that at some point. Did you know that Toy Story 3 was originally going to be made by Disney Circle 7 Animation? I actually didn't know about that. That's pretty interesting fact. I'll have to research that more. How did you become a Back to the Future fan? Great question. Um, basically, I saw the movie and it changed my life. I just love the idea of time travel and the DeLorean was so cool. Just everything about that movie just made me a super fan. And that's why I started collecting props from that movie because I just really love it. And I could watch all three of them over and over again and not get tired of it. Kind of like with Toy Story. I just love watching it over and over again. What's good and favorite Sonic movie? Are you excited for the third Sonic movie coming out in December 2024? Yes, I am. I love all the Sonic movies. I got to say... This last Sonic movie we had was probably my favorite because I loved the introduction of Knuckles and stuff. And then we also got like a, a preview for Shadow. So I'm just really excited about all the Sonic movies, to be honest. I don't think I have a favorite per se. I just enjoy all of them. So thank you for sending this letter in. You didn't give me your name, but I appreciate you for mailing this in. Next time, partner, put your name on it so we know who sent that in. But thanks for sending the questions. Next letter says, Dear Today I Grew Up, Hi Today I Grew Up, you're my favorite YouTuber. Well, thanks, partner. I like your channel because I'm a big fan of Toy Story. I love Toy Story and you make Toy Story videos. Every day I watch your new videos and I enjoy it. I love all of them. I have a channel. Also, it's Green Alien. To get my channel, you have to search up Green Alien 288. I hope you like my channel and this letter in your Mail Monday video. I hope you like it. Thanks today I grew up from Green Alien 288. Thank you so much for sending this in, partner. I definitely will check out your YouTube channel. Everybody, please go search Green Alien 288 to see the content. I'm sure it's great. I'm going to check it out soon. Thanks for sending it, partner. Green Alien 288, huh? Why don't you make a second channel called Mr. Potato Head 289? I'd watch that one. This letter came all the way from Iceland. And it says, Dear Today I Grew Up, this is Ingi for short because I can't say your full name. You might remember me from my last fan letter. Yes, I do. I have something that I wanted to give you. This item is really special in many ways and I've had it since I was very little. But since it's been tucked away in storage and I'm moving to a new house, I thought I'd send it to you now. It's an Icelandic translation of a book, Toy Story 3. It was released in 2010. I've had it probably since I was five years old then, but now I'm 18. You can probably understand why it's a very special item, not just for nostalgia for me, but also for the appeal to collectors. Having a book from another country would make a really nice addition to any collection. And yes, there are probably many other Toy Story books released here. But you are just a really nice person and I look up to you in a way like I love collecting too. I got into anime and manga this year and it's been really fun. But Toy Story will always have a special place in my heart. Although I don't watch every one of your videos, I do follow your social media, so I'm kind of up to date. And your band is awesome too. Thanks, Ingi. Anyways, I just really wanted to donate this to you because you're just one of my favorite people in the world. I wish you and your people a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Or as we say in Icelandic, Sorry, I can't speak Icelandic, but I tried. Your friend from Iceland, Ingi. 
Thank you, Ingi, for this heartfelt letter. I will always cherish this and keep it with my collection. Let's check out the book. So here is the book. It's an Icelandic translation of Toy Story 3, as you can tell there in the language, Icelandic. Very amazing. Honestly, I will always cherish this because I don't have any Toy Story books from other countries or translated from other languages. And it's really nice to see because I, I just don't have a Toy Story 3 book in general. So I really appreciate this. And I love that uh, even though I may not understand the words, you can see from the pictures what's happening in the story. And if I use a Google Translate, you know, it could take a photo and give me the translation. So this is really amazing, partner. Thank you so much, Ingi, for sending this all the way from Iceland into my collection here. I will always cherish this book. Keep it safe for you. So if you do change your mind and you need it back, just let me know, but I will keep it safe for you for all time. It even has what Andy was giving the toys to Bonnie at the end there, which is pretty amazing. So long, partner. Awesome. Thank you again, Ingi. This is amazing. I love this book and it's really unique. Thank you, Ingi, for sending that book for us in our collection. I just got a question though. Do you have french fries in your country? Do you have mashed potatoes? Are they frozen? Just curious. Lastly, we got a postcard, a Hello Kitty one that says, thank you. It says, from our friends at Dream Big Productions, Plush Bat Fan, here's a special Hello Kitty thank you card for yours to keep as a souvenir. Happy holidays from December 2023. Huge shout out and a big thank you to Dream Big Productions slash Plush Bat Fan for this awesome Hello Kitty postcard to add to the collection. Now it's time to get into the voicemails. Let's see what we got. Hey, howdy, hey, partners. It's that time again to have another Mail Monday. We made it to episode 75. I'm so grateful for all of you who still watch these, and I want to keep making it. My goal is to get to Mail Monday episode 100, then I'll do a very special episode for that one. But until then, we're going to keep building it till we get there. So Mail Monday is back. I know it's been a while since I've done these, but I will be going back on regular schedule for 2024 to do these one time per month. So please do send any mail you have to my PO Box address or to my voicemail. And all that information is pinned in the comment section as well as this video. If you watch it towards the end, it'll give you that info for the phone number and the address to send me something. So that's the only way you can get a shout out on this channel is either through actually mailing me something to my PO Box address or leaving me a voicemail. Hi, today I grew up. My favorite character on your channel was the Seed Toys New Head Scope for your Woody and the Beyond Child Buzz Lightyear stuff. Head. Uh, that's my two favorite videos from you. And your live action are funny. I like watching the behind the scenes videos and the Lightyear videos. Keep up the good work. Bye. Thank you so much, partner, for the call. Really appreciate you spending the time to let me know what you like from my content. I'm really excited to keep making more of that kind of stuff. Uh, the mods is definitely something I still continue behind the scenes, like working for Movie Accurate Zerg, for example. I will do some more mods to Buzz Lightyear later this year, working on some custom Mr. and Mrs. Potato Heads at some point. So there's a lot to look forward to, and I'm glad you like the Seed Toys kit on my current Woody. That is actually my favorite Movie Accurate Woody in my collection currently and I'm really excited to have it, as well as the Divine Child head for Buzz Lightyear. I thought that looked pretty good too. So that one's also my favorite. So I'm glad you enjoy the behind the scenes videos. I'll make sure to remember to make more of those type videos, but thank you partner for calling in. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hi, um, my name is Toothpick Soup 129 no spaces. Um, I just wanted to say hi, um, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big fan. Yeah, and that's all. Um, you. Thank you, partner, for calling in. I have one question for you. How the heck do you come up with the name Toothpick Soup 129? I'm just very curious because that's the most random and funny name I've heard. Anyways, thanks for calling in, partner. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hi, this is Chandler from Georgia. In case you were wondering what the Chuck E. Cheese dolls were, it, what the Woody voice box is, it's a custom voice chip. That's all I have to say. Bye now. <laughs> Thanks Chandler for calling in from Georgia. Hope you're enjoying it out there. But yeah, the yeah the Woody voice boxes are definitely a big fan favorite out there. I recommend anybody who doesn't have one to get one from Divine Child. It's the best one you can get. Slow retract with Tom Hanks voice phrases. All right, let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hey, uh, I'm here for obvious reasons. 
I'm a big fan. About to get a woody doll just like the giant scaled one. I'm really excited. Keep up the good work. Thank you, partner, for that very thoughtful comment. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're enjoying my channel. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hey, today I grew up. My movie actor buzz is coming great. I basically lowered his arms, and I gave him ball-shaped joints. And I'm basically giving him the Toy Story 2 toy mo face. And, uh, yeah. And he's not finished yet. I gotta, I gotta fix up the ball joints, and, uh, so, so they would blend in more in, in the arms and give them the shoulder socket. Hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day too, partner. That was really great. Thank you for letting me know about your Buzz Lightyear modification. Good luck because Buzz Lightyear is the hardest toy to mod. He's just hard plastic. So there's only so much you can do cracking open the body and changing parts and things like that. But I wish you the best of luck. It is possible. All you have to do is you need to dream big, put your mind to it, never give up, work hard, and you can accomplish anything and make impossible and impossible. And that's how our dreams can come true. Wish you the best of luck. Toy Story 2 mode buzz sounds really fun, so I wish you the best. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hello there, today I grew up. I love your replicas. Did a great job on them. I just have some questions. Uh, if you were to recommend a one Toy Story toy to a brand new Toy Story fan, what would it be? I recently joined, and it's, you know, just wondering for the Christmas season. If you were to work at Pixar, what would you want Toy Story 5 to be? Say hi to all the partners out there, and uh, goodbye. Thank you so much, partner, for calling in. That was really thoughtful. And to answer your first question, the first toys that I always recommend to somebody who's wanting to get into Toy Story now in the year 2024, my recommendation would be go to Shop Disney online or go to a Disney store if you have one or a Disney store theme park. They have great merchandise, and I always recommend getting the Buzz Lightyear and the Woody first. They're only $30 at retail right now. Yes, they're not the most movie accurate, but they are the most fun with play features. They still have the pull string and the buttons and the pop-out wings, all those fun things like Karate Chop action. It's literally the best toys you can get on the market right now for a, good, a great price because we don't have Thinkway toys anymore. And even then, those were really expensive for people. So I always recommend just getting the Disney Store collection of Toy Story toys. You know, they have great ones. I just did a video at uh, World of Disney in Anaheim, and they had Rex and Zerg, Forky, Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye. So I always recommend pick those up first. Regarding Toy Story 5, I did make a video sharing my thoughts, but to make a long story short, I, what I would do is I would have Andy integrated into the story. I'd love to see what happened to him. Maybe he's older now, married, he maybe has kids. And I'd love to see those toys get passed on to his kids. And maybe Bonnie donated them back to either Andy's kids or just something fun where we can have Andy as part of the story. That's my, my hope and wish for Toy Story 5 is we get some kind of resolve and happy feelings with Andy being back because he was the one who started it off for all of us in Toy Story 1. So that is my wish and hope for Toy Story 5. Thank you for calling in, partner. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hi, today I grew up. It's me again, Mason McGuire. I just want to call you that the last time I said in your um, Mail Monday video that I said Jetpack lift off us, my, my mistake, it was the blast off Buzz Lightyear, the second best version of that buzz along with the collection buzz, I'm sorry. That's what I'm talking about, not jetpack liftoff buzz, that's the Lightyear toy. Again, it was blast off Buzz Lightyear where somehow you pop out his wings and then you press the button and the jetpack starts lighting up. That's that's what I meant. Oh, and also, of course, we all know Utility Bell Buzz Lightyear made it to the white, uh, made it to the 2010s with the second white logo wave, you know, the white logo wave. But I think, do you did you realize, know, that back in 2009, as they produced the collection line with the cloud pattern, they actually, maybe this was before or after, they had a Toys R Us exclusive. Fankway had produced a Toys R Us exclusive Buzz Lightyear with the utility belt where it does not have light-up wings, it does not have a wrist communicator, but, and the belt does, does not, also does not, light up when you press it it only lights up when he talks so i just want you to i just want to hear each out for you that's all that's all i have to say today i grew up have a nice day and to infinity and beyond take care man 
Thank you so much, Mason McGuire, for calling in. I always love when you call in and give me some insightful toy details. That's what I'm all about. And uh, yeah, thanks for clarifying about that, that Buzz Lightyear. There's just so many Buzz Lightyears on the market, it's easy to confuse them. So we appreciate you clarifying that for the fans who might be confused. And I definitely know about it. And then, yes, I did hear about the utility belt Buzz Lightyear that was like an exclusive to Toys R Us back in the day. So. Yeah, it's not part of necessarily the collection line, but Thinkway Toys did produce some toys that mimic the collection toys. They had some exclusives before the collection line dropped. And I remember there was a Woody that they made with kind of looked like real denim jeans that kind of looked like the collection Woody, but it was a little different. And same thing with the Buzz Lightyear, you're right, with the belt. So that was cool. It was kind of like a, a preview of what the collection toys became before they actually dropped the collection line. So that is really cool. Yeah, they're more rare and expensive and hard to find. And if you do see them on eBay for a good price, I would recommend picking that up if you're trying to collect those because they're really hard to come by, especially for a great price. All right, partner, thank you for sharing that. We got one more voicemail today. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is William Tucker, and I'm here to ask you these questions. Which one do you prefer for movie accurate hands? The Hasbro Woody or the 95 Woody? Since they both use the same hand mold, or the Disney Toy Woody. They've been using that same hand mold since like 1995. I, they still use it on the Disney Store, right? Anyway, peace out. Thank you so much, William, for calling in. I really appreciate your partner sharing your thoughts about Woody hands, which are important as part of your Woody mod. I know for me, my personal favorite hands to use is the 1995 Woody doll, even though it's a more expensive one and rare one. I really feel like the quality of the hands, the shape, the color, everything about it to me is my favorite for modding Woody. Now if you can't get a hold of the 95 hands because they're rare and expensive, I would recommend second place to be the Disney Store ones. Although I noticed that the older Disney Store Woody hands were more pale and then the newer ones are a little bit too tan. And if it doesn't match the color of the face, it might look weird. My personal advice would be to use the Disney Store hands, the older ones. Those look best. But yeah, you can technically use the Hasbro ones if you'd like. I personally don't like those as much as the 95 or the Disney Store ones. But at the end of the day, you should do what you love best or what you feel looks best for you and your Woody because they're all unique. They're all special in their own way. And because you made them, they're going to be unique to you and your collection. All right, partners, I'm really excited to bring back Mail Monday. Don't forget to send in your mail, your voicemails. I will be collecting them for next month, and I hope you enjoy your day. I'm having a great time right now. I'm actually traveling in Japan right now as you hear this, and I will be back soon with more videos. Always work hard, dream big, never give up, put your mind to it, and you can accomplish anything and make impossible into possible, and that's how our dreams can come true. If you would like to call in and leave a voicemail, it's 909-312-4548. That's 909-312-4548. If you partners would like to be part of the Today I Grew Up Mail Monday show, all you have to do is copy the address here on the screen. And whatever you send in, we can review and give you a shout out for the next Mail Monday episode. As long as we have mail coming in, we can keep these Mail Mondays going forever. Take care, partners, and you've got a friend in me. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.